One of the key trends in financial services is about big data and advanced analytics. And executives are getting increasingly excited about what is now technologically possible. And we agree. We think that through advanced analytics, you are able to redefine elements of your value chain in banking as well as in insurance. Therefore, it makes no wonder that a lot of investments are now going into this field. But honestly, uh, the results up to now are often very disappointing. And the reason is a fundamental flaw. People are very much focused on models, on data, and much less on decisions. But value can only be generated if decisions are impacted. And I'm talking about all kinds of decisions, whether these are the big strategic choices, whether these are the daily decisions of the front line, or whether this is what I would call in between decisions. Let me give you an example. We worked with a PNC insurer who basically replicated the expertise, the knowledge of his best underwriters in an analytics model, which worked perfectly. There is a second aspect to that, which is about how to implement it, because you have to overcome quite the natural reluctance to change of people. And there are two things I would advocate for. The one is do it in a collaborative effort. Get the people together across functions, across silos, to come up with the right hypothesis. I don't like uh, black box exercises. And secondly, carefully select the use cases. It's about the relevance of the use cases. The people must understand why you are using advanced analytics to improve those decisions. If financial services companies embark on this advanced analytics journey and do it in a collaborative setup, then they can outperform the market and can yield best results.